we could hear the pilot to ask in the co-pilot to take command control and at the same time we could hear um, the noise of a chair that's been moved and the noise of her door that has been closed and shut and we can uh, I think we, uh, he left the cockpit uh, so that he can go um, for natural call. At that moment, the co-pilot was on his own in the cockpit. While alone, the co-pilot manipulated the flight monitoring system keys so that to accelerate the descent of the plane. He was by himself in charge of the Airbus 320, and he uh, used the keys of the monitoring system to operate the descent of the plane. The action of the altitude selection can only be voluntary. It's done in a voluntary way. We could hear a number of uh, appeals and calls from the uh, pilot to access the cockpit. Um, we're talking here about a uh, speaker. Uh, he identified himself, and he was using a speaker asking access to the cockpit. But there was no response from the co-pilot. He knocked on the door and demanded that the door should be open, and there was no response from the co-pilot. At that time, we heard a, a breathing noise inside the cabin, and we carried on hearing that kind of breathing until the final crash and impact, which means that the co-pilot was still alive until the time of the impact.